We got rid of that in our university. We're the first state to do it. Hopefully you guys follow us too. That, of course, is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis greeting several diners there, arguably at one of the most famous diners in America, the Red Arrow Diner. This is in Manchester, New Hampshire, opening its doors, get this, in 1922. The landmark diner became known as a recurrent stop for politicians on the New Hampshire primary campaign trail, one of the first in the nation, again, during the presidential primary season, as you see many, several of our uh, former presidents. I was going to say, the photos speak for themselves. The owner says every president in recent history has come through the diner at some point during their campaign. So I guess uh, presidential candidates and also future presidents as we see Hillary Clinton there. For more on this, let's welcome in Amanda Wiebe, the co-owner of the Red Arrow Diner. Hi, Amanda. How are you doing today? Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm doing well. And oh, yourself? Well, wonderful. We're doing great. Thanks so much for, for taking the time answering our call. We know it's busy in the diner. And of course, you see a lot of familiar faces. Tell me about what you've experienced so far with the 2024 campaign. So far, it's been a whirlwind. It's been, uh, we've had Vivek come through. We've had uh, Senator um, Tim Scott, Governor Nick Haley, and most recently, Governor Ron DeSantis, and of course, President Trump. You know, it's interesting because we're, we're looking at some pictures right now of, uh, again, Nikki Haley, who stopped by, Ron DeSantis, who stopped by so many different hopefuls here and obviously several Republican hopefuls of what we're seeing right now. I'm curious from your um, from your front row seat that you have, who was the one that walked in and garnered the most attention, Amanda? Uh, so far, it's been President Trump. He definitely draws the largest crowd uh, mm -hmm. as of this point. So, so you see the most people when Trump walked in. Obviously, they have their cell phones out. They're ready to go. You could, there's a photo of, or video of him there. Actually, we have, I believe... Uh, this video here of President Trump coming in the Red, Arrow, uh, the Red Arrow Diner, and there's a name for it, I think. You call them the Red Arrow Virgin. In 2016, yes. then-presidential candidate Donald Trump paid a visit for the first time, and your staff essentially de-virginizing him. Uh, the Red sure Arrow did. Diner way. Let's watch. Red Arrow Virgin, you know what that means. We have a Red Arrow Virgin right here, Donald Trump from New York. Let's give him a welcome, Donald! And is the, talk to me about this moment. And it uh, very well. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's no longer uh, a, a Red Arrow Virgin anymore. He's very, uh, obviously, has been there a few times. Do you even have a menu item ab about uh, Trump? Can you tell me about that? Yes, right. Following that, uh, those handshakes, he had ordered a burger. It was called the Newton Burger at the time. There it is right there. And it consists of a fried mac and cheese ball, uh, eight ounce Angus uh, hamburger, cheese sauce, and two grilled cheese uh, sandwiches serve as the bun. And he, he ordered that and he enjoyed the whole thing. So we decided, we asked his son if we could name it the Trump Tower Burger on the menu. And he obliged. How about that? Uh, custom menu item there. And Amanda, we were showing photos, of course, of presidents that are on the Democratic side of the political aisle. Talk to me about what it's like uh, when you have different viewpoints coming in. D does everyone sort of get along with each other despite being so far apart politically? Well, New Hampshire has been doing this for a very long time. So we, and here at the diner, we have as well. We, we are open to every politician on either side of the aisle, and we're, they're cordial to all of them. They're just really grateful to be able to shake their hands, ask them questions. You know, it's grassroots politics down here in New Hampshire, so we're, we're grateful to have that, and everyone um, plays nice in the sandbox here. Yes. You know, I've got to say thank you, by the way, to some of the customers there. They're being so quiet during this TV interview. I know <laughs> diners are typically loud. You must have said, hey, can we keep it quiet for this? It, 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 who's the gentleman behind you here? Oh, that's co-owner George Lawrence right here. Hi, hey, George. George. Oh, I, I, I thank you for thank asking. You. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. We wouldn't ask uh, George there. George, what are you having today? And how excited are you to see so many presidential hopefuls there? Very exciting. It's unbelievable. It's, 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 it's great. It's great. Think of, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, all the history uh, that you've been able to experience throughout the years, truly. And uh, Amanda and, and George, e either one of you here, when you see a presidential candidate 
walk through the diner, is there something about their presence that is a sign that you look for when it comes to the the possibility that they might actually make it to the White House. Is there something, a characteristic that seems to uh, apply to all of those who've served as commander in chief? There are some that come right over and they come and they come to see the customers. They shake their customers' hands, they, they answer their questions and they look them in the eyes. And that seems to be the driving force of what brings them to the White House, I, I would say. You know, we the big news today, as you have heard, Amanda, um, is that the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, is going to officially announce his, his candidacy for president tonight at 6 p.m. He's going to do it on Twitter with Elon Musk. He came to your diner before launching that presidential bid. Can you talk to me about that moment? We were uh, very well welcoming to have him there. Um, he, we were surprised to have him, to be honest. We didn't know he was coming until right before he showed up. And he came in, he walked behind the counter, he spoke to all of the customers. He actually got a two for one that day because we had a customer visiting from Iowa. So he was able to talk to a citizen from Iowa that was visiting here for the first time. Um, and she asked him a direct question. I believe that's her actually. And uh, yeah, he, w he did wonderful. He, he spoke to everybody and gave everybody a lot of time. That, yeah, that's that's incredible. Uh, again, just the fact that you've had so many people who've been in the news over the past several decades here, and I'm wondering, both Amanda and George, is there someone who stands out to you in your mind that you that you just could never forget about an interaction that you had at Red Arrow? That's a tough one. That's a really tough one. Well, they all have. I find them all very, of course, with the people. President Trump welcome. was uh, definitely stands out in mind. He, he draws a very large crowd, and he it's very patriotic when he comes here. Uh, and there's not many people who are able to divergenize, and they take it in stride. So, <laughs> <laughs> as we see some photos here, um, and clearly your walls are, are filled with with pictures as well to mark all the memorable occasions here, New Hampshire, uh, home to this famous diner, the Red Arrow Diner. Here, been around for decades as every presidential hopeful and president stops by to greet those diners. Who, by the way, again, uh, thank you so much for being so uh, so quiet. Quiet there. We'll let you get back to enjoying your food, your coffee this early morning. Uh, Amanda Weeby and George, we appreciate that so much, guys. Uh, and hope we will see you again very, very soon. We hope so as well. Thank you, Sean and Emma. Thank Have you. A great day. Take Have care. Have a wonderful Thank day. Well. Fill up on Thank the you. coffee. Right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so always